You're building a Wix website and now you need settings. You need settings for your Wix website. I know you want to hop into all of the flashy stuff and the add the pictures and things like that, but this is the most important part of building your website. And I'm going to show you why it's so important right here, right now. Let's go. All right, boom. So here is the this is the template that we chose from before. Now it'd be tempting tempting to go ahead and just start to click around in here and move things around, which that will be the first thing you would do as a as a person who is new to building who is new to building a website. But before you get to that, this is the most important part that a lot of new uh, website builders overlook. You want to click over here. We're in Wix Studio. You want to click over here uh, to the dashboard and hit that dashboard right. And this is essentially what we're doing is setting up the foundation of your whole website, the foundation of your whole brand, the foundation of your whole business. That's what we want to do before we get to the flashy part. So with that being said, we're going to go straight to settings, settings right here, settings, right? And you can, you can pretty much just go through these settings and set them up as you, as the, what fits for your website. So we're going to, um, I'm tempted to break this down into individual ones, but we will just go ahead and yeah, we'll just go ahead and rock through it, right? So first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit the subscription settings. Like if you have a subscription, well, I'll just explain what they are. If you have a subscription based website where, you know, you have people paying monthly to uh, be a part of your website, have a membership to your website, you want to have that subscription settings set up. Uh, business info, very, very important. This is one of the first things you want to do as far as for your website. So let's just call this my dream website. Like, let's say that's the name of my business, right? It's a local business. You want to insert your description for your business here. Boom. If you have a logo or avatar or things like that, you want to go ahead and insert that here, right? Uh, if you have an address, you put your address. Um, 900 your your way right of course you're trying to pick something so we'll pick we'll pick one of these addresses las vegas right and it pops up on the map uh email address info at at your email dot com right boom just like that if you have a phone number go ahead and put your phone number in I'm just hitting up some random numbers boom 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 just like that um, again if you have an image you can go ahead and upload an image or you can add an image um, we don't have any files so I don't want to get this too complicated but you can go ahead and add an image from your 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 um, from your computer or you can create one right but I'm not going to go into that right now so essentially you're just entering your business information right here now why this is important because when it comes up to you when people Google you when people look up your address when when your website emails you all of these different things these interactions that your website is going to do for you as far as business wise it's a lot of the back end stuff that you really don't notice until you set it up so we, this is essentially setting up that back end so the website knows and identifies your brand associated with your website associated with your email and phone number address so on and so forth so it'll be all consistent when you go on you know SEO when you get into SEO and other things that pertain to your website so once you're done with that go ahead and hit save and that's how you save the settings, just like that. So that's the business settings. All right, so boom, there it is. You got to see exactly how you put your business info inside of your settings. So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, or comment to this video. Let us know what you think. But also stay tuned to the next video where we go over another set of settings for our next video. So with that being said, see you in the next video. Let's go.